second the market leader on the outside of stable companion Oriental Myth and Enigma last of the quartet as they come towards the end of the first furlong and a half. Winscott Red Eagle with the maroon sleeves and cap about to be pestered either side on the inside Oriental Myth in the black cap and on the outer Jamira Palm in the striped cap. Now go by the juvenile who's about to be relegated to last as Enigma improves on the inside as they come towards the end of the first three furlongs. So the two stable companions at the head of affairs, Jamira Palm on the outside of stable companion Oriental Myth with a length and a half back to find Enigma racing back in third and a break of some five lengths now, maybe a little bit more than that to find Winscott Red Eagle, last of the quartet as they race inside the final five furlongs. Going towards the far end of the back straight, about to turn right-handed in the black cap, Oriental Myth on the inside of Jamira Palm with a two-length break to Enigma in the black jacket with the orange stars and then a ten-length break back to find Winscott Red Eagle. Front pair taking each other on as they race to the final half mile and on the inside it is just Oriental Myth in front from Jamira Palm, little to split them however. Bill Collington not quite as animated as Matthew Johnson on the inside. Two lengths back to Enigma is getting a nice toe through the race, going into a closing in third now as they turn at the top of the home straight. Just over two furlongs left to go, and now Phil Collington getting a bit more urgent on the odds on favourite Jamira Palm. And Oriental Myth is still alongside. Enigma's now switched towards the far side to try and come with a run as they come down the home straight. Just over a furlong left to go. Jamira Palm making really hard work of this. Oriental Myth is still alongside, and Enigma on the far side trying to come and make a line of three, but just over an eighth to find. Down to the final furlong. Jamira Palm on the near side of Oriental Myth with Enigma continuing to close in on the front pair. Jamira Palm just about to have fended off Oriental Myth with Enigma trying to challenge on the inside. It's been hard work out in front for Phil Collington for some way, but uh, Jamira Palm gets off the mark, wins by a length and a half or so. Oriental Myth in second, Enigma in third, Winscott Red Eagle, last of the quartet. The finish, finishing positions for the sixth race. First, number two, second, number three, third, number one, and fourth, number four. Odds on favourite Jamira Palm, an oriental myth is still alongside. Enigma's now switched towards the far side to try and come with a run as they come down the home straight. Just over a furlong left to go, Jamira Palm making really hard work of this. Oriental myth is still alongside, and Enigma on the far side trying to come and make a line of three, but just over an eighth to find. Down to the final furlong, Jamira Palm on the near side of oriental myth, with Enigma continuing to close in on the front pair. Jamira Palm just about to have fended off oriental myth, with Enigma trying to challenge on the inside. It's been hard work out in front for Phil Collington for some way, but uh, Jamira Palm gets off the mark, wins by a length and a half or so. Oriental Myth in second, Enigma in third, Winscott Red Eagle, last of the quartet.
finish third that walking in and they're off nine furlongs in front of them and Winscott Red Eagle leads through the early stages by a length and a tail over Jamira Palm who races in second the market leader on the outside of stable companion Oriental Myth and Enigma last of the quartet as they come towards the end of the first furlong and a half. Winscott Red Eagle with the maroon sleeves and cap about to be pestered either side on the inside Oriental Myth in the black cap and on the outer Jamira Palm in the striped cap. And they'll go by the juvenile who's about to be relegated to last as Enigma improves on the inside as they come towards the end of the first three furlongs. So the two stable companions at the head of affairs, Jamira Palm on the outside of stable companion Oriental Myth with a length and a half back to find Enigma racing back in third and a break of some five lengths now, maybe a little bit more than that, to find Winscott Red Eagle, last of the quartet as they race inside the final five furlongs. Going towards the far end of the back straight, about to turn right-handed in the black cap, Oriental Myth on the inside of Jamira Palm with a two-length break to Enigma in the black jacket with the orange stars, and then a ten-length break back to find Winscott Red Eagle. Front pair taking each other on as they race to the final half mile, and on the inside, it is just Oriental Myth in front from Jamira Palm. They'll to split them, however. Phil Collington not quite as animated as Matthew Johnson on the inside. Two lengths back to Enigma. is getting a nice toe through the race, going into... A closing in third now as they turn at the top of the home straight. Just over two furlongs left to go, and now Phil Collington getting a bit more urgent on the odds on favourite Jamira Palm. And Oriental Myth is still alongside. And Enigma's now switched towards the far side to try and come with a run as they come down the home straight. Just over a furlong left to go. Jamira Palm making really hard work of this. Oriental Myth is still alongside, and Enigma on the far side trying to come and make a line of three, but just over a length to find. Down to the final furlong. Jamira Palm on the near side of Oriental Myth with Enigma continuing to close in on the front pair. Jamira Palm just about to have fended off Oriental Myth with Enigma trying to challenge on the inside. It's been hard work out in front for Phil Connington for some way, but uh, Jamira Palm gets off the mark, wins by a length and a half or so. Oriental Myth in second, Enigma in third, Winscott Red Eagle, last of the quartet. So the finish, finishing positions for the sixth race, first number two, second number three, third number one, and fourth number four. Why? The result is now official. They have weighed in, weighed in. So the odds-on favourite, Jamira Palm, takes our sixth race of the afternoon, the Aspire Park Maiden Stakes, and she sheds the maiden tag at the uh, third attempt. Our thanks goes to the Qatar Racing and Equestrian. Slow. Written towards the inside rail, Ruby's Day is right up there in the early going. Hustled up between horses, Boy in the Bar is also right up there together with Ken Conga as they go through the first furlong and a half. But it is the mayor, Ruby's Day, who now wins the battle for the lead. On the outside, Boy in the Bar is giving chase racing in second and Compton Park with a noseband in third. Green colours on the outside, Ken Conga in fourth. These then being followed about a length away towards the outside by Dark Castle. Dark Castle at the moment is racing alongside the hard-driven Sun Raider towards the inside side 21 choice back in the field is Ben Hall together with Thatcherite and Televoy is at the back of the field making the turn in towards the inside Ruby's day a neck in advance of boy in the bar racing in second two lengths away in third is Compton Park as they made the turn in followed by Can you Congo made the turn in fourth and Sun Raider in fifth but it is now boy in the bar who strikes and goes for home Ruby's day tries to hang tough towards the inside down the outside is Compton Park Park, and then from the back, Sun Raider, they've got another half furlong to go. It's now Compton Park and David Allen up on the outside of Boy in the Bar, who's now trying to battle back. Compton Park, Compton Park on the near side of Boy in the Bar. Then Sun Raider between horses was 21 choice. And on the inside, the long-time leader, Ruby's Day.
Yeah, you'll remember when Mr Mojo won at Hamilton not too long ago, a couple of outings ago, and 48 hours before that horse won at 6-1, to one, Dave Allen told you on Racing UK uh, of it being his best chance in the next uh, couple of days. And here, he's put up Compton Park to you and uh, wins at a decent price, sitting third early on and has shown a good turn of foot this entire to beat Boy in the Bar, who was also prominent, and Sun Raider back in third. It's a 7-8-9 order of finish. Not many got into it. Ruby's Day did take advantage of stall number two finishes fourth and nothing else got into it the first four were in the first four throughout mark we were talking about ruby's day jamie spencer on a hold of horse but stall two understandable why they had to uh, make use of that draw. they did yeah jamie spencer did came from stall two she's shown plenty of speed before of sorry plenty of speed during the race she's never won over six furlongs and she got tired late on boy in the bar appeared to be in the absolutely ideal position just sat in behind the leader ready to strike it is the fastest ground he's ever encountered so you, you know be interesting to see what robert winston thought whether he didn't let himself down on it but you know otherwise there'd be no ex excuses because he's perfectly positioned and a good effort by les air he's, he's given compton park a, a decent break 101 days off bled last time we saw him freshened him up he's brought him back and uh, that looks a great best performance yeah, great to see Les back, isn't it, as well? Um, he's only got about 20 horses, doesn't want any more than that over at Catwick, and he said all that they've uh, got, they can win races in Compton Park. Perfectly ridden there to beat Boy in the Bar. Sun Raider third, Ruby's Day in fourth. Ben Hall was at the back, so was Televoy. Can you Conga was up there early on, but under pressure on the outside. But Compton Park, Dave Allen, well, the top tipster is Michael Shinners, but uh, Dave Allen needs to get in that competition next year. Let's get the SPs with Niall. Yeah, hopefully some of the Magnificent Seven will get on the mark. It's been a quiet day thus far. Ed Chamberlain's still to come with the chosen one. be interesting to see how that one gets on. Wish him well. Compton Park wins at 20 to 1 for Billy Parker, Les Aaron, and Dave Allen. Boy in the Bar was second to 9 to 4 favourite, and Sun Raider was third at 13 to 2. Winning time was 115.22, which is 0.62 outside standard. That's the scene that Asker making away down. That's Blue Waltz, uh, one of five runners for this maiden fillies. Floor Magic is 8 to 15. Blue Magic 9 to 2, 5 to 1, and bigger the rest. What a weekend uh, for William Haggis, those two big winners up at York. Nice winner yesterday at Ascot, and another one here today this afternoon as well with Redcook, who's two out of two now. I wondered about his handicap mark coming into here today. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I, I complained bitterly to Marcus Sweden because I thought on the evidence of his run at Yarmouth mm. and the second horse got stuffed at Lingfield, I thought 88 was far too high. So 